What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here, coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Target exclusive Black Panther 2-pack Eric Killmonger and Everett Ross. Here we do have Ross and Killmonger in the packaging. What we're going to do now is take a little break, get these two open up, and then we'll have a better look at the figures inside. So stay tuned everyone. And so here we have Ross and Killmonger posed and out of the packaging. Before we go on to the figures, let's take a look at what they come with. For Ro Everett Ross here, we do get a handgun which fits nicely in his right hand. It's a nice little accessory and I am glad they included a gun. For Killmonger, he does come with the most accessories out of the two. Killmonger does come with the unmasked head that he has on him outside of the packaging. And then he also does come with a masked head which we have seen before. Killmonger also does come with two pairs of hands. He comes with the open claw hands that he's wearing right now. And then he also does come with a pair of grasping hands for his sword and his spear. And since we're on it, he also does come with the same sword and the same spear that we saw with the original Killmonger figure. I am glad they included it with him, although it's not the way I'm going to have him posed. But it's still a really nice addition. So what we're going to do is have a closer look at Killmonger and Everett Ross. And so here we have a closer look at Everett Ross, and I have to say they did a pretty good job on the head sculpt. It's not 100% likeness to the actor, but it does look enough like him that you can actually tell who it is. I really do like the face printing tech that Hasbro is doing on their MCU figures. It does look really nice. I also do love the hair that they have on him. It's done in a, a blonde plastic, and they just added some of these highlights in it, which it does add detail to the figure and it does make the hair stand out more. Really glad that they did do that. If I can say one thing I don't like, it's the 5 o'clock shadow. I don't know why Hasbro has this thing where they just airbrush the 5 o'clock shadow on. It honestly looks like his face got burned while he was, I don't know, cooking something in the oven. It just looks like a dirty chin. If they can find a way to print the 5 o'clock shadow on, that would be so much better. As far as what he's wearing, he's wearing a suit. Uh, we do have him in a gray jacket, which does look really nice. You can see some pockets right here at the top, and then right here at the bottom. So it does look nice. It's a really nice sculpt. I do like it. The sleeves have a really nice sculpt work to them. They are thin, so just be aware of that, that the arms are thinner than most other Marvel Legend figures. We do have his tie, which is a softer plastic. I do like that. Underneath, he is wearing like a really light blue shirt. It's almost like a slate color shirt, so I really do like that. Belt buckle is done really, really well. You can see it's painted excellently. If I can just move that out of the way. Pants are the exact same gray as his jacket, so there's really not much to talk about other than the detail work in it. You can see the seam line going all the way down to the cuff right here. And they actually did sculpt the cuff on it, which does look nice. And it's the same for both legs. By the time we get to his shoes, they're done in this really nice glossy black, and you can see some lace work there. You can see the seam lines in the shoe. So there's a lot of detailing on Everett Ross here. So I do like the figure, so let's actually take a closer look at Killmonger now. So here we have a closer look at Killmonger, and this is probably the figure I wanted out of the two most of all, just because I really did like the original Killmonger figure, and this is using the exact same sculpt and with a different color scheme. I really do like the head that they went with, the unmasked head looks really, really good. The hair is actually a separate piece, so that does get out of the way. As far as the face printing tech on this figure goes, it looks a lot like Michael B. Jordan, so I am glad that it looks like the actor. When we saw the Black Panther figures, uh, they don't really quite look like the actor, especially the latest one that we got from the movie, but Killmonger here actually does look like Killmonger, so I do like that. His beard is sculpted in, so that's pretty good that it's just not painted on. I really love the detailing on his hair. As far as his costume goes, it's the exact same one that we saw with the original Killmonger. If I can bring it out here really fast, you can see they use the exact same sculpt, but I like the added paint 
has the gold lines. This one did have the leopard print. This one doesn't have the leopard print, but it has these really nice glow golden lines. Just on the front, on the back, it's still kind of plain, which is a little bit unfortunate. I really would have liked to see all these little lines painted gold, almost like the entire suit is lit up. That would have been so much nicer. But there's a reason why I like this figure so much. The sculpt work in him is amazing. Everything on him is sculpted. You can see all these little ridges, the bumps, even the suit is sculpted. So I really do like that. You can see some more line work right here on his thighs. Now, I do have to say, this isn't the original one that you saw in the packaging. I actually had to get a second Killmonger. Just because the original one that I did buy had two left thighs. He had a left thigh for his left leg and a left thigh for his right leg. So the figure was all messed up. Really glad that this second one is all right. Nothing is mismatched on him, so I do like that. But again, some more of that gold line work here. Again, would have liked to see some more of that line work throughout the costume because the back is pretty plain, in all honesty. The front looks nice, but the back is plain. And then we get to his feet where the gold is painted on the toes, but not the actual foot, so there is that. So overall, really, really impressed by this Killmonger figure. Really do like it. So what we're going to do now is actually take a little break and compare the two figures to other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have Everett Ross posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. And here we have Everett Ross posed next to a Marvel Legends MCU Black Panther and an MCU Ant-Man. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually take a look at Everett Ross's articulation. He does have this standard Marvel Legends articulation. He has a ball joint in the head, which does look up and down really slightly. No side-to-side -side tilt, which is a little bit unfortunate, does turn left and right. He has a hinge in the neck, which looks up really well. He can bury his chin into his neck, so that does look good. Arms on a ball joint don't go out all that far. Let me see. Uh, no, they don't go past this angle. Um, let me see if I can't rotate that out. I don't know if it's just on mine, or if his arms aren't meant to go out any further than that, but that is a little bit unfortunate. Arms do a full 360. Swivel at the bicep. He is double jointed in the elbow. No issues there. He has a hinge in the wrist, which goes in and out. He also does have an ab crunch, which goes back about that far, forward about that far, he swivels at the waist, legs do go forward and back, they go out only to about there, which is pretty average for Marvel Legends, rotation at the thigh, double bend in the knee, no issue there, then we have an ankle hinge which goes back, and not so far forward, and then forward facing pin for rock your ankle. So with every Ross out of the way, let's have a better look at Killmonger. And so here we have Killmonger posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. And finally, here we have Killmonger posed next to a Marvel Legends MCU Black Panther and a Marvel Legends MCU Ant-Man. So with comparisons out of the way, let's actually have a look at Killmonger's articulation. He does have the exact same articulation that we saw in the original Killmonger figure. If you don't know what that is, let's run through it really fast. He has a ball joint in the head, which he can look up a little bit. Can't really look down. Uh, we do get some really slight tilt there, so I do like that. He has a hinge in the neck, which lets him look back about that far. Hinge forward quite a bit. His chin actually gets buried into his chest. Arms on a ball joint, they do go out, but they're really stiff on mine. They would go all the way out, but like I said, mine are just really, really stiff. You can see right there. Moving the arm back in, they do a full 360. Swivel at the bicep, he has double bend in the elbow. He has a hinge in the wrist, as well as rotation. And then we also do get butterfly joints for in and out movement, so I do like that a lot. He has an ab crunch which goes back only to about that far. Goes forward that far. Waist swivel works no problem. Legs go forward, back, and out quite a bit. Swivel at the thigh, double bend in the knee. No boot swivel, but we do get an ankle hinge which goes back 
and not so far forward, but it does go forward, and then forward facing pin for Rocker Ankle. So overall, really loving this Killmonger figure. So what we're going to do now is get him posed for my final thoughts, bring Everett Ross back out here, and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have Everett Ross and Killmonger posed for my final thoughts. Overall, I really do like the way this set came out. I really do love the Killmonger figure. It was one of my favorite figures in 2018, and I'm really glad I have it here in a new paint scheme. Everett Ross is still a really nice figure. I don't have a suit figure in my MCU collection. Although, I really don't see this set being worth the value if you picked it up at full price. I can imagine the Michael B. Jordan head sculpt is really nice, but it doesn't quite warrant the $40 price tag. I was lucky enough to find this set at my local Target, and it was on clearance for $20. Bucks. Seeing as how this set was originally $40, $20 for two figures, it's a no-brainer I had to pick this set up. Despite the fact this set does not come with a Stanley bill of figure piece anymore, I still think this is a really nice set. However, I don't see it being a full $40 set, especially if you already have Killmonger and you can't justify the paint app change. It's just not that different to say it's a must-have figure. But if you can find it on clearance for a good price, I really say pick it up. You won't be disappointed with it, especially if you love the Killmonger figure and you need a suit body just for fodder or something like that. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other Marvel Legend videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.